There's always a reason to celebrate. Today we're celebrating our season finale episode with a party. The Fashion Sense models are here to share their favorite go-to party dish. We'll be taking a look at some sparkling outfits for all your festivities. And my friend Malia from the Sedona store will be here to encourage us to dream big with flying wishes. It's gonna be a bright and shiny episode you won't wanna miss. Presented by D. Suihiro Electric Inc. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. Reselling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. without some drinks and a little bit of dancing. Today I'm making a healthy alkalizing mocktail. How many of you drink apple cider vinegar? I like to enjoy it every day mixed into my water with a little bit of agave syrup. In fact, I crave that taste every morning and throughout the day when I'm needing an extra boost of energy. But I recently learned that there's a different way to drink apple cider vinegar. And what that is, is apple cider vinegar infused with different fruits and herbs mixed in with some sparkling water, creating a fizzy kombucha-like mocktail. I mean, come on guys, sparkling water, kombucha, fruity flavors, what a winning combination. So today I'm making a blackberry cider mocktail. For this recipe, all you need is So before we mix up the mocktail, we're going to need to make a rosemary simple syrup. And so for this, you'll need to combine one cup of water, one cup of sugar, two rosemary sprigs, and two tablespoons of chopped rosemary. We're just gonna combine all the ingredients and bring it to a boil. So once we bring it to a boil, we're gonna take it to a simmer for five to 10 minutes. So after it's been simmering, you want to set it to the side to let it cool for another 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's cooled, we're going to strain it into a jar. So after we strain it in the jar, we're going to put it in the refrigerator to chill. Okay, it's time to make the mocktails. We're going to blend together two cups of frozen blackberries, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of the rosemary simple syrup that we just made, and three fourths cup of water. And we're just gonna pulse it all together to get it nice and rich. So once we've pulsed it to a nice consistency, we're gonna pour it into a jar. Nice and rich. So all you need to do, super simple guys, fill some short glasses with ice cubes. And then we're gonna fill the cup, I'll put a little bit more ice cubes, 
each cup with a little bit of the blackberry mixture, just about a quarter way up because it's really rich. Get a little bit more here. And then just fill it up with some blackberry sparkling water. Look at that color, so festive. Put a little bit more in this one. We're gonna add some rosemary sprigs. A blood orange wedge. I love using the blood orange because it has a really beautiful color. It just gives it that festive vibe. And you're ready to serve the blackberry cider mocktail. You know I need to have a taste of this. Mmm, delicious. Cheers. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, the Fashion Sense models are sharing their favorite go-to party dishes. Stay with us. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs. Moisturizing. Rejuvenating. Energizing. Sun-kissed. Alluring. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. We thought we'd share our favorite go-to party dishes. Hey Val, did you say party? Yes, I did, Zoe. Like, ooh, that's so pretty. What's that? So these are my vegan lemon bars. Oh. I love the flavor of lemon because it just gives me a boost of energy. Well, you know, I actually put lemon in my water every day, but I didn't know lemon bars could be made in a vegan version. Yes, so instead of using eggs, you uh -huh. just replace it with applesauce. Okay. And you can use a dairy-free butter. Yeah. And you just add a pinch of turmeric to add the color. And turmeric's great for your skin as well, right? Right. <gasps> Thank you, and it's so pretty. Thank you, Zoe. You're welcome. Hey, girls. Hey. Hey. Glad I'm not the last one to the party again. Me too. But being a busy mama, it's hard for me to prepare a dish. This is my go-to and has become a party favorite. Val, all I did was pick up some pre-made dip, a bread bowl, yes. put it on a platter with colorful vegetables, and poof, done. Ah, oh, and I love how it looks so pretty, and I love how you always look so fabulous despite your busy schedule. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Val. Hi. Hi. I don't really cook. Me neither. I brought my signature drink. Well, you know, it's not a party without some drag. Ooh. This is the pink elephant. Pink elephant. It's grapefruit juice, cranberry juice, fresh lemonade, and sparkling water. Oh, that's so simple to make. The pink elephant. It's simple, refreshing, and hydrating. So when you're dancing all night, you still feel great in the morning. Oh, and you know we love dancing all mm -hmm. night long. Thank you. All right, girls. It isn't a party until the guacamole arrives. I agree, Sarah. This is my absolute favorite thing to bring. It's mm -hmm. a party favorite. Yes. But if you're anything like me, yeah. you may want to get some extra avocados because you'll end up eating half of them before you're even done making this recipe. Oh my gosh, I am like you. I love avocados. So you probably had a load of avocados to make this much guacamole dip. That's why I call it my guac attack. Oh, the guac attack. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Hey, party people, I've got something tall, dark, and rich. Ooh. Tall, dark, and rich? 
Um, guys, it's right here in my tray. Oh. It's my dark chocolate <laughs> peppermint mousse. Oh, well, that is tall, dark, and rich looking. Thank you. Very pretty. Yes. It's my dark chocolate mousse topped with coconut cream and peppermint sprinkles. Wow, you guys, look at this spread. And I love that they're all finger food types. I love finger foods because you can still enjoy them while mingling. I agree. I'm always on the go, so just having a quick bite makes me super energized. And the lemon bars are a perfect grab-and-go item, right? Of course. Yes. And with my busy schedule, I'm glad I can pick up some healthy options. I'm such a busy mama too, and so I agree. It's so convenient to run into the store and pick up something really healthy to bring, right, to parties? Absolutely. Yeah, and it's also very important to stay hydrated. Oh, yes, with your drinks, right? <laughs> I'm a huge snacker. I love indulging in avocados. Wow, well, look at this, you guys. If you want the recipes to any of this, head to our Instagram page, Fashion Sense by Valerie. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at the lovely ladies' sparkling outfits and inspire you for your next party outfit. Stay with us. Stylish. Modern. Sophisticated. Chic. A lifestyle boutique designed to make women feel equal and empowered. Posh by Valerie Joseph, Ward Village. Hi, Michael. It's nice to meet you. I'm Amanda. Hi, Michael. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, Michael. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I'm Amanda. but you can call me mom if you'd like. <sighs> inspired days start in inspired closets. Come to Sedona and experience positive conscious living. Discover the power of gemstone jewelry and crystals. Uncover the mystery of feng shui or create a keepsake at fun make and take classes. Welcome back. The holidays are right around the corner and sequin dresses are a must-have for parties that follow. Let's take a look at a few options that will inspire your celebration outfits. Zoe loves the theatrical side of fashion and so if you're looking to make a statement, this mini dress is for you. The split sleeve in this cape style dress creates a dramatic effect that's sure to turn some heads. For shoes, we've kept it really simple in a nude strappy heel. And for makeup, we did a smoky eye with a pretty pink lip. And for hair, we've kept it down in loose curls so it'll match her twirls. Thank you, Zoe. sequin dresses in basic colors of silver and gold tones. But what if you want to be sparkly and don't like those colors? Nicole is wearing a shift dress made from a fabric in jewel-toned sequins. This is a great color because it allows you to wear it all year round. For accessories, we paired it with a jeweled rhinestone drop. For shoes, we did a simple pink heel that matches one of the colors of her dress. And for makeup, we did a purple eye with a berry lip. And for hair, we kept it down in loose curls. Thank you, Nicole. Adrian loves to celebrate outdoors under the stars. This rose-colored striped sequin dress allows her to stay outdoors nice and cool while shining bright. And we also paired a nice blush-colored fur jacket should the temperature drop. For accessories, we kept it really simple with a pretty rhinestone hoop earring, 
For shoes, we paired it with a strappy rose gold rhinestone heel. For makeup, we did a smoky eye and a nude lip. And for hair, we kept it up in a top knot so she can dance the night away. Natalie is wearing a sequined jogger pant. The sequin is of a dark, subtle color, and the jogger pant style makes it fun and stylish. We paired it with a gold metallic top to give it a monochromatic look. For accessories, we added a simple double hoop gold earring. Then for shoes, we added a platinum colored pointed toe heel. And guys, here's where you can wear silver and gold together. And for makeup, we did a smoky eye with a berry lip. And for hair, we kept it up and in a top knot so she can dance the night away in her dancing town. Thank you, Natalie. If your celebration calls for back-to-back -back parties, this is a great choice for you. Sarah is wearing a two-piece shorts set, but here's what we did differently to make it dressier. We kept her top untucked, and we're going to use a self-tie belt around her waist. Now this makes it a little more dressier. For accessories, we added a vibrant red clutch that matches the pop of color in her heels. And for makeup, we've done a really neutral eye with a heavy brow, heavy eyeliner, and a red colored lip. This is a great choice, and shorts are comfortable if your parties go from day to well past midnight. Thank you, Sarah. These fun glitter outfits are a great way to stand out. They're perfect for family holiday parties, events, and wild nights out. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, Malia from the Sedona store will be here to teach us a unique way to make a wish. Stay with us. Come to Sedona and experience positive conscious living. Book a psychic reading. Breathe in the aromatherapy. Discover thoughtful gifts or create your own custom empowerment potion. Welcome back. Like blowing out candles on a birthday cake, only a whole lot more dramatic. Malia is here to share with us a unique way to make a wish. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me to your season finale celebration. I'm so happy to be here. And I brought you a special gift yes. of a flying wish paper. A flying wish paper. It's a gift for people who don't need things, okay. but a gift of experience. Oh, I love And everyone, I feel, appreciates all experiences. So this is a really unique way or a unique gift. Exactly. Uh -huh. So what we've decided to do yes. is we're all going to give you a special wish <gasps> for your show and for you personally. Oh. So, all of the models here have written their wishes, but you're going to write your wish at the end. Okay. Okay. I get so to write one. So we pass out our wish paper okay. to our platforms. Okay. So this goes down to... Oh, they're so Each pretty. Each person has their own wish paper and their own They're so wish. pretty. So it's very beautiful. Yes. I've written mine. And now you get to write your special wish. So go ahead. So I can make any wish I want? Exactly. Yes. Okay. And while she's writing her wish, we're going to take our wishes and we're going to crumple them up into a little ball. It's pretty easy to do. And the important thing is when you're crumpling the little ball, we're going to put it in our hands. 
and you're going to crumple yours too. And we're going to kind of cup it and then put a beautiful intention and wish and just kind of think it in your mind. Yes. All right. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to open it back up. Okay. And we're going to flatten it like this. Okay, flatten it on the table. Yes, flatten it, so make sure the edges are kind of um, nice and flat. Okay. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make a little um, a roll. So you're going to oh. put your finger here. Okay. you're going to fold the paper over with okay. the other hand. Then now you're going to fold the other paper over with the other hand. Okay. And then you're going to make like a tube. Oh, like a so little finger straighten. sushi roll. Exactly. So you're going to kind of straighten it out. Okay. And make sure the edges are all kind of neat. All right. And nice how's everybody and doing? Okay, great. Let's make sure it's nice and straight because it has to stand up. Okay. So then our next project yes. is um, we will be putting it right into the middle of what we call our platform. Okay. Each person has their own special platform. Oh, look how yeah. fun. It's like a candle on a birthday cake. Each oh, is going to okay. Match. So I'll give everyone a match. Okay. You're and welcome. Loads of fun. You can do it with 25 people, two people, however many people you want that are at your party. Oh, how fun. I can't okay. guarantee that all of them are going to go up at the same time, but we're going to have okay. fun doing it. Okay. But we're all going to be able to at least... Fly our wishes to the sky. That's right. Okay, and that's the main goal, right? Okay. okay. So on the count of three, we're gonna all put our matches into the candle. Okay. And we're going to light our little wishes to make sure they come true. One, okay. Two, okay. Three. Okay. One, two, three. Light. Both sides. Woo! I hope that all of your wishes come true, and I especially hope that my wish for Valerie comes true because I wish for you a season two with much success. Thank you, Malia. <laughs> Cheers to the season one finale of Fashion Sense. We hope all your celebrations are magical. Whether you wish upon a shooting star or send your wishes sky high on a flying paper, remember to always be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. See you next season. Okay, so I can wish for anything. It's like making a wish, like anything. I can wish for anything. Exactly. It's too windy in here. Shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Promotional consideration provided by Inspired Closets Hawaii. Inspired days start in inspired closets. Pacific Edge Magazine, supporting small businesses. Complete tent rental.